Hi friends, welcome to simpleindianrecipes.com, your online guide to healthy home style cooking. Today I am excited to share one of my favorite chocolate cake recipe. This cake is delicious, super moist and is made of all healthy ingredients. You can make this cake anytime and enjoy without any guilt because it contains no maida, no refined sugar and no butter. So here are the ingredients that I've used to make this cake. First, I've taken one cup of whole wheat flour or atta. I've also taken one third cup of cocoa powder, half teaspoon baking soda, half teaspoon of baking powder and one fourth teaspoon of salt. I've used the pink Himalayan salt but you can use the regular salt. For the sweetness, I used three fourth cup of brown sugar or jaggery powder. The other wet ingredients we need are half cup milk, half cup curd and half cup of oil. I have also taken one fourth cup of chocolate chips to make the cake extra chocolatey and of course we need little vanilla extract. The cake doesn't need any fancy equipments to make, you just need a hand whisk or a wooden spoon. In fact, it's my 12 year daughter who is making the cake in this video. So first in a large mixing bowl, take the homemade curd, add the natta chakri or brown sugar to this and beat it together. I have made this cake eggless but if you want to use eggs, instead of half cup curd you can use two eggs. Once the jaggery powder gets mixed with the curd, add one fourth cup of milk. Also, you need to mix half a cup of any cooking oil. Here I've used olive oil, but you can also use vegetable oil, canola oil or even some ghee. Blend together all the wet ingredients nicely. You also need to add some vanilla extract, which I forgot to record while shooting. Next, we need to sift and add all the dry ingredients. So I take the whole wheat flour, cocoa powder, baking powder, baking soda and the salt in a sieve. Sift it directly over the wet ingredients. This sifting helps remove any lumps that may be there in the flour and also helps incorporate some air. Now start mixing everything together, add the remaining quarter cup of milk at this stage. After just couple of minutes of mixing, you will get a smooth silky batter. It's in the perfect consistency and ready to be baked. I like my cake extra chocolatey so I mix in some chocolate chips with this batter. If you add the chocolate chips directly to the batter, it will sink to the bottom of the cake while baking. First mix 1 tablespoon of wheat flour with the chocolate chips and then mix it with the batter. This way these chips will be evenly distributed throughout the cake. Now the batter is ready, let's prepare the cake tin. Today I am using a 7 inch silicone cake pan. For better stability, I have placed another cake pan under this flexible silicone pan. You really don't need to do much for the silicone pan, just apply some oil and spread it around. Pour the batter into the pan. If you are making a bigger cake, you may have to double the ingredients. You need to tap the pan a few times to remove any air bubbles. This final step is optional but I also like to add some chocolate chips on the top.
preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Carefully place the cake pan inside and bake it for 45 minutes. Just keep an eye after 35 minutes or so. If a toothpick inserted comes out clean, the cake is ready. By the time the cake is ready, your whole house will be filled with chocolate cake aroma. Rest the cake for some time before you remove it out of the pan and cut it. This cake is super chocolatey, super moist and very soft. And the best part is that it doesn't contain anything that's bad for you. So be sure to try out this delicious cake and leave your comments. Thanks for watching. See you again with another healthy and interesting recipe. Until then, bye bye.